There comes a time in every player's career where they gotta recognize that it's time to throw in the towel and start taking it easy. You know, it's time to retire. And let me tell you, there are a good number of players right now that really need to take that hint and just go ahead and do that. The 2022 NFL season has taught us many things. Among them, while it may be time for some big name players and veterans to call it quits, several others have defied father time and need to continue playing beyond this year. So here are five NFL players who would be wise to retire after the 2022 season and five who should return for 2023 and potentially beyond. Retire, Matt Ryan. It was hard not to be excited for Matty Ice when he got traded to the Indianapolis Colts. He was too loyal to an Atlanta Falcons team that should have rebuilt several years earlier. The Colts, on the other hand, were ready to win now. And a top 10 defense, reigning Russian champion Jonathan Taylor, arguably the league's best O-line, and a highly regarded offensive-minded head coach in Frank Reich. Just about everything that could go wrong in Indy has, though. Ryan is suddenly struggling like crazy to protect the football, the offensive line is a disaster, Taylor missed time due to injury, Reich was fired after a 3 five and one start and curiously replaced with Jeff Saturday. It sucks to see Father Time hitting Ryan at age 37, considering that older guys like Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers can still sling it. In this day and age, 37 is an awfully early age to start declining. Ryan is just too good of a guy to go out the way other great QBs like Brett Favre, Johnny Unitas, and Joe Namath did. He is no longer starting caliber, but he shouldn't be asked to accept a backup gig either. No realistic playoff contender is going to want Ryan as their starting QB in 2023 and beyond, so after this season, he'd be wise to call it quits while he's ahead rather than make it worse. Keep playing, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers has flirted with the idea of retirement for a couple of years now. But why should the four-time MVP walk away while he still has it? Sorry, but we refuse to blame Rodgers for the Packers' shortcomings in 2022. A healthy Christian Watson looks poised for stardom, and if the Pack can add just one or two more quality pass catchers in the offseason, their offense will return to elite form. Rodgers still has so much good football left in him. He just needs the right supporting cast. If he doesn't think he'll get it in Green Bay, why not seek a trade to another contender? The NFL is better with Aaron Rodgers, and he hasn't displayed enough signs of slowing down. Whether it's with Green Bay or someone else in 2023, A-Rod needs to continue his Hall of Fame career. It would be a travesty if he retired with one Super Bowl ring when he still has several more opportunities to win number two. Retire, Ndamukong Sue. The former Detroit Lions superstar has a case for the Pro Football Hall of Fame but he's been past his prime for several years now. It was nice to see Sue capture that elusive Super Bowl championship ring with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the 2020 season and all, but the five-time pro bowler simply has nothing left to prove and very little to play for at this stage. Sue didn't land a contract for 2022 until November 17th, and the Philadelphia Eagles only really signed him because of injuries on the defensive line. He's a rotational player at this phase of his career, and his run defense has been leaky at best since leaving the Miami Dolphins. 2022 should be it for Sue, no matter what. Either he gets a second ring with the Eagles, or they fall short. He didn't get a contract until past the midway point of the regular season. Who's to say he'll find work as quickly as a free agent in 2023? He'd likely have to wait until a team gets desperate midseason for defensive line help again. Sue should see the writing on the wall and call it a career after this season. If he were still a regular starter, it'd be a whole different story. But that's no longer the case, so it's time to move on. Keep playing, Jason Kelsey. Many believed that Kelsey would hang up the cleats after the 2021 season, but he had one of his best seasons yet and got the Eagles back into the playoffs. All Kelsey did was earn a fifth career Pro Bowl nod, as well as his fourth first team All-Pro selection in 2021. So, of course he came back for more in 2022. Another hint that Philly was bracing for Kelsey to retire soon? Well, they drafted Nebraska center Cam Jurgens in the second round at number 51 overall. In fact, Kelsey actually endorsed the pick and was fully on board with the Eagles taking Jurgens. With the Hall of Fame awaiting, and with that shiny Super Bowl 52 championship ring on his finger, Kelsey has checked off every box at the NFL level. So it's understandable if he wants to ride off into the sunset. But when you're still arguably the best center in the league, and you're still playing on a star-studded roster in Super Bowl contention, why walk away now? Why pass up on the chance to win a second and maybe even a third ring? Kelsey has been instrumental in Jalen Hurts' rise to elite QB status. He is the heart and soul leader of his team, and the Eagles need him to continue their record for a second Super Bowl championship. Kelsey is one of the most universally respected players in the NFL, too. We aren't ready to see him go, so let's all 
shall hope that he does the football world a favor by coming back for at least one more year. Retire Jason Pierre-Paul JPP has had an interesting career. He was one of the NFL's premier pass rushers with the New York Giants in 2011 and 2012, earning Pro Bowl nods and helping them to a Super Bowl 46 championship. Then he didn't earn another Pro Bowl nod until 2020, eight years after his second selection. That same year, he helped Tampa Bay to a Super Bowl 55 championship. But JPP's place slipped noticeably in 2021, and the Bucks let him walk to free agency in 2022. Like his ex tampa a teammate in Sue, Pierre Paul didn't land a contract until the regular season had already started. Desperate for pass rushing help, the Baltimore Ravens signed Pierre Paul in September. But even in a blitz happy Baltimore D, JPP just hasn't been able to produce. His run defense is a weak link, and he's rarely generating pressure on the opposing QB. 2020 was simply a year of Pierre Paul turning back the clock and not a sign that he was enjoying a multi year career revival. The numbers at Pro Football Focus aren't pretty. He is merely irreplaceable of a player at this phase of his career, and at that point, retirement becomes the only logical option. Look, two Super Bowl rings and tens of millions in the bank? Yeah, it's time for JPP to retire and explore the wide availability of post-football endeavors. Keep playing Fletcher Cox The Eagles released Cox in the 2022 offseason, seemingly signaling the end of his tenure in Philly. However, the longtime fan favorite wound up coming back to the only NFL team he's ever known on a cheap one-year pact. Good thing the two sides continue this marriage because Cox hashtag still has it. Cox remains one of the NFL's premier defensive tackles, primarily in the pass rushing department. This defense has a perfect combination of young and veteran talent. Cox and Brandon Graham sticking around would benefit the growth and development of youngsters Jordan Davis and Nicobe Dean. And like we said on Cox's teammate Jason Kelsey, why retire when you're still great and when you're still playing on a championship contender? Even if the Eagles don't want Cox back in 2023, several teams should have interest in the six-time pro bowler. Retire, Jason Peters it's pretty amazing that Peters has played well into his 40s. I mean, that's not half bad for a guy who was A, undrafted, and B, initially a tight end until the Buffalo Bills turned him into a stud offensive tackle, and a future Canton member at that. But like several others on this list, Peters really doesn't have much else to play for, having won that desired Super Bowl 52 ring with the Eagles in the 2017 season. With stalwart offensive tackle Tyron Smith missing most of the regular season, the Dallas Cowboys got desperate and signed Peters for a limited role. Of course, He's seen very limited playing time and obviously has not been a Pro Bowl level contributor when on the field. Peters exceeded all expectations and has a yellow jacket locked up, but considering he's hardly starting caliber anymore, it'd be best for him to call it a career after this season. Keep playing, Aaron Donald. The first ballot Hall of Famer completed his career resume by leading the Los Angeles Rams to a Super Bowl 56 championship in the 2021 season. Donald considered walking away after his age 30 season, but fortunately for the football world, he decided to return after signing a lucrative extension. There's no indication that Donald is seriously pondering retirement, but we'll throw it out there anyways. This man needs to keep playing, please and thank you. Yes, 2022 was a very rough season for the defending champs, completely derailed by injuries and the darn salary cap. And yes, he did miss some time with an ankle injury, but Donald remains arguably the best defensive player in the league, and we expect him to age like a fine wine. The Rams still have a nice core to build around in Donald, Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, and Jalen Ramsey. This isn't the time for them to throw in the towel. Donald is a generational talent, and he still has something to play for. The chance to strengthen his legacy as the best defensive player of all time over Dick Butkus, Reggie White, and Lawrence Taylor. We would hate to see him pull a Chicago Bulls version of Michael Jordan and walk away with so much left to give to the game. Retire Julio Jones Jones' last healthy season was in 2019. That year, he racked up 99 catches for 1,394 yards and 6 touchdowns in 15 games. Then, unfortunately, the injury bug hit Jones once he entered the wrong side of 30. Jones missed 7 games for the Falcons in 2020, and a strained relationship with the organization led to him being traded to the Tennessee Titans. Jones missed 7 games with his new team and was hardly productive when on the field. Jones decided to give it another crack at the Super Bowl by signing with Tom Brady's 
Bay's Buccaneers in 2022. The injury bug struck yet again in September as a partially torn MCL unfortunately sidelined Jones for much of the season. Though he has made the odd big play, it's evident that Jones isn't a game changer anymore. He is on a very limited snap count these days when he is active. The bottom line is that injuries and age have taken a toll on Jones, and we just don't want to see him force his body through more pain and misery when he's not at all a game wrecker anymore. Jones just needs to take the hints, listen to his body, and retire after the season. There is little reason to continue playing when he is way, way, way past his superstar form. Keep playing Tom Brady. The Buccaneers haven't found any consistency on offense, but Brady, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and the defense have kept them in games all season long. Brady is not the issue in Tampa. It's pretty amazing what he's doing behind a depleted offensive line, plus no more Bruce Arians or Rob Gronkowski. Brady is still a great decision maker with the football, and he hasn't lost a touch on his accuracy nor release. Some folks just want Brady to retire and move out of the spotlight, but we all know how crazy deep his desire is to continue playing, and the guy hasn't really lost any steps, so why should he quit now? If he's not keen on the makeup of this current Tampa roster, Brady can always play elsewhere in 2023. His childhood team, the San Francisco 49ers, sure would be juicy. What about the New Orleans Saints, Seattle Seahawks, Indianapolis Colts, or Las Vegas Raiders even? There are several enticing options. Brady once said that he'll retire when he sucks. Well, he's still as good as ever, and we're not ready to bid farewell yet. So, Tommy Terrific, if you'd want to just go ahead and return for a 24th season, that'd be great. But which other NFL stars do you think need to retire in 2023? And which ones do you think should continue playing? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.